welcome to Success in Business. I'm Cindy Henry, Member and Guest Services Manager at Greater Burlington Partnership. Today, our presenter is Joe Eckert, the Branch Manager for the Cedar Rapids Branch Office of the U.S. Small Business Administration. The SBA was tasked by the President to administer the COVID-19 federal relief programs, and Joe and her co-workers have worked tirelessly implementing them these past two years. Joe previously worked in economic development for the City of West Des Moines, and operated the West Des Moines Business Incubator from 2010 to 2017. She's known for developing strong mentoring systems that have been shown to improve success rates of small businesses. In addition to forming and utilizing skill development programs, she has facilitated networking opportunities for professionals throughout Central Iowa. Please welcome Joe Eckert. Hey, thank you so much, Cindy. Good afternoon, everyone. And thanks so much for the warm welcome. And thanks to everyone at the Greater Burlington Partnership for asking me to present to you today. As Cindy stated, I'm the branch manager for the Iowa District Office of the U.S. Small Business Administration. The SBA is a cabinet level agency with 68 district offices around the country. We have a total of five permanent full-time positions working for the SBA in Iowa, and two temporary full-time positions that were brought on during the beginning of the COVID funding program that the president tasked our agency with back in March of 2020. Next. Just as the slide states, the SBA programs and services for small businesses are here to start, grow, expand, and recover, and doing so by providing capital, counseling, contracting, advocacy, innovation, and disaster assistance. Next, please. I will be going through our resource partner network. This presentation will be on the partnership website, so phone numbers and email addresses can be obtained there. These resource partners provide counseling, advising, workshops, events to small businesses, and these services are available to anyone free of charge. There may be a nominal fee associated with the workshop, but essentially your tax dollars are used in part to fund these resource partners. They include SCORE, the Small Business Development Centers, the Women's Business Center, Veterans Business Outreach Center, and U.S. Export Assistance Center. Next, please. SCORE is the first resource partner I will talk about. SCORE is a group of individuals that are either still in the working world or who have retired that offer up their services to provide counseling, advising, and workshops to our small businesses. We have three SCORE chapters in Iowa, and the closest one nearest to you is the Quad Cities chapter. You can reach them by going to their website, Quad Cities, period, SCORE, period, org, and requesting a mentor. Next, please. The Small Business Development Centers are another resource partner of the SBA. They are led by Lisa Shimkat, State Director, and she is in Ames. Next, please. This map shows the 15 centers across Iowa. The one in your community is Southeastern SBDC, and the Regional Director is Janine Clover, who is fantastic, by the way. Next, please. Please contact Janine at 319-208-5381 or by email at jclover at sccioua.edu. Next, please. The Women's Business Center is another SBA resource partner. The Iowa WBC is in Des Moines and the project manager is TJ Daniels. They are housed in the Iowa Center for Economic Success and their services are provided not only to women, but men and service disabled veterans as well. Next, please. The Veteran Business Outreach Center, VBOC for short, is a one-stop shop for transitioning service members, veterans and military spouses looking to start, purchase, or grow a business. Darcella Craven leads the Vet Biz Center for our four-state region. More about their services can be found at the vetbiz.com website. Next, please. One of the great programs that the VBOC provides is a Boots to Business Reboot course. This is either a half-day session if held virtual, virtually or a full-day session if held in person. 
The reboot gives attendees an overview of what it takes to start a business and goes through eight different modules of business ownership. Check out the vetbiz.com website for the next course. Next, please. The SBA realized during the height of providing COVID relief with our PPP and EIDL programs, some of the minority communities were left out of the process. The Community Navigator Program was formed to assist immigrants, refugees, and underrepresented populations in accessing business services, receive counseling on available relief funds, application and navigation assistance, and training and technical support to help overcome business challenges. The SBA has funded 51 different organizations across the country, utilizing a hub and spoke model. Lutheran Services of Iowa is the main spoke in Iowa, with other partners such as the Iowa Center for Economic Success, the Immigrant Entrepreneurs Summit, Iowa's West Coast Initiative, Siouxland Economic Development Corporation, and Drake University. Please contact Maggie Cave at Lutheran Services of Iowa for assistance. Next, please. One thing that individuals might not realize is that the federal government is the largest purchaser of goods and services in the nation. We have a federal contracting program to help businesses get into government contracting. And Donnell Connolly, Deputy District Director, SBA, is the contact in our office. For assistance with government contracting, you need to contact the Procurement Technical Assistance Centers, PTAC for short. The PTACs run out of Iowa State University, but they have account managers and government contracting specialists across Iowa. In your area is Samantha Firm, and she's in Iowa City. Samantha's phone number, 319-333-9558, or email her at sifirm at iastate.edu. Next, please. SBA works with approved lenders to offer SBA-backed loan programs to assist with starting, growing, and expanding your business. SBA works with these lenders by backing the loans through the federal government. There may be a time when a lender is questioning whether to provide a traditional conventional loan to a borrower, and that's where the SBA guarantee portion of our loan program comes in. By, use, by utilizing an SBA loan, the lender will receive a percentage back, paid back to them in case a borrower would default. Next, please. The benefit for borrowers may be that they need a longer payback term, which a conventional loan may not have. Small equity requirements would mean lower down payments with a longer and lower repayment term to increase a borrower's cash flow. You don't normally go into a lender and ask for an SBA loan. Once you sit down with your local lender, they will help you decide if a conventional loan is available to you or if they would feel more comfortable utilizing an SBA guaranteed loan. Next, please. These SBA backed loans can help you launch your business, grow your business, purchase and renovate facilities, purchase inventory and equipment, purchase land or real estate, and access revolving credit or working capital for day-to-day -day expenses. Next, please. Our lender match program is for those that are interested in applying for a loan if they don't have a local lender. The borrower can access lender match and complete the required paperwork. Lenders who have opted into lender match and selected Iowa as part of their lending area will receive your information. If you are contacted by a lender interested in your business, which could pay, take only two days, you'll be able to talk to them about available loans through their institution. Next, please. SBA's microloan program is available to business owners who have been turned down for a conventional loan and an SBA guaranteed loan. SBA partners with Iowa Microloan and the Iowa Center for Economic Success to provide this service. 
microloans can assist someone who could become a more bankable cu customer in the future. The loans are for less than $50,000 and for limited to working capital and fixed assets. These loans also come with counseling through the life cycle of the loan. Please contact either Iowa Microloan or the Iowa Center for Economic Success to learn more. Next, please. The SBIR STTR program is focused on technology, small businesses looking to fund re research and development. Now, more, pro more about this program can be found at the website noted on the slide. Next, please. SBA has a disaster center that provides loans when a disaster strikes your area and has been declared a disaster by the president or by our administrator. Disasters such as wildfires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, and as the Cedar Rapids area experienced a devastating derecho. Next, please. SBA's disaster center was brought into the spotlight in March of 2020 when former President Trump announced on television the SBA's lead for our nation's response to COVID-19 and its subsequent recovery. The lending programs developed because of this was the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP for short, and the Economic Injury Disaster Loans, EIDL. Next, please. The COVID-19 economic recovery provided to businesses in Iowa was very beneficial. The SBA utilized local lenders in providing the PPP. In 2020's round one of PPP, we approved over 61,000 loans for a total of $5.1 billion. In round two in 2021, we approved just about 112,000 loans for a total of $2.97 billion. In total for Iowa, the PPP program provided a total of 173,000 382 loans for over $8 billion. These loans went out to individuals and business owners to pay employees, pay rent and utilities, and mortgage interest payments. And if used for the correct purposes, the loan was forgiven. Our COVID economic injury disaster loan, which just ended, was a tremendous success. We had several initiatives come out of the COVID idle and in Iowa, we approved over 18,000 applications for a total of 1.8 billion loans. Grants were provided by our idle advance, target advance, and supplemental targeted advance. Next, please. COVID economic recovery was also provided also provided relief to business owners who already had an SBA loan prior to the declared disaster. The program assisted with six months of principal and interest payments for the loan. This was for all new and existing 7A, 504, and SBA microloan borrowers. The financial impact of this was great, and the additional funding was approved so individuals were able to receive an additional payment on their loans more than the six months that was provided at the beginning. Another program created due to COVID was the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. The SBA received $28.6 billion to help restaurants, bars, etc., needing grant funding. In Iowa, we approved 847 applications for $121.9 million. In total, the SBA funded over 101 applications, but the need was much greater. There have been attempts to refund the program so that all applicants would be able to receive this grant money, but it was recently voted down in Congress and we do not see that program opening back up again. And lastly, the COVID recovery fund for museums, theaters and the like was created as a shuttered venue operators grant. In Iowa, 136 approvals for $9.1 million went out to these applicants. 
Next slide, please. The last two years, the SBA has been busy with the administration of these programs, but we're now switching back to our regular duties, which includes community visits, presentations such as this, encouraging lenders to participate in our SBA guaranteed loan programs, and more. I want to thank the Greater Burlington Partnership for hosting me. I know that I've given you a lot of information, and I was just wondering if anyone has any questions for me now. Um, I wouldn't say, well, I mean, with COVID, it was, it was an interesting bag. I'm not going to talk about, I guess, that, um, that part of the lending that we did, but really it's our 7A loans, which are more working capital and our 504 programs. And really in Iowa, we are doing more loans than we ever have before. So I can't say that one was um, used more than the other, but uh, if you have any questions about them, please let me know. Okay, a lot of times, um, I'm also the veterans representative for the state. And when I have someone contact me, I find out what area they are living in. And then I tailor an email with names, phone numbers, photos, links to the websites to get people to the right, um, the right resource partner. Now, all of our resource partners can be used at the same time. And I really encourage that. I think of SCORE as a business's own board of directors that they can utilize for the life cycle of their business. And, you know, the SBDC is great. As I said, Janine Clover is wonderful. Um, people can utilize our VBOC and the Women's Business Center. So if they want to contact me, I can get them in touch with the people that they need to talk to. I think people don't realize that their tax dollars have already paid for this counseling and advising assistance that they can get. And there's no need to you know, hire a consultant when you're just starting out. You can get some really valuable information, especially from our SCORE counselors. And like I said, SCORE is a group of individuals that are either still working or have retired and their experience is invaluable. Our SBDCs, each one I think really has specific areas that they, they help in. And Janine for one is just a whiz when it comes to um, the funding and accounting and all that, um, but she can answer any of the other questions. So I think just the utilization of our programs and not knowing that they exist. I think uh, when they hear the federal government, that's when uh, people kind of step step back because the federal government doesn't seem to be like the one out there to help you. But we are with our agency. We are here to help. That's our whole reason that that we exist. So I think it's just you know a, a government run. Um, program that might keep people away. 
And I know during the COVID crisis, I had numerous individuals that would call me and they'd say, yeah, my, my friend is afraid to give you a call. And I'd say, well, why? Well, you know, they, they think that, you know, they're basically calling Washington, D.C. And I said, well, they're going to call me and they're going to get me. So um, don't be afraid to give us a call. Send me an email. I would love to help you out. You know, if you're going to take a leap, it is going to be you're all in. You're, you have to be all in and utilizing the resources that we have to help you get there um, is it's what's so important. Being an entrepreneur and running a business is not a 40 hour job. You are working every day, night and day to get things going. And if you have to be able to put in the time and the effort to really get yourself established and to find the help that you may need. Okay. Thank you for being with us today. And thank you to Joe Eckert. Watch for information on the next Success in Business presentation coming up on August 10th with Janine Clover of the SBDC. We'll see you next time.